the Right Honourable. What's his name? You'd have thought the manner of his death would have secured his place in history, but it seems posterity has forgotten both the assassin and the victim. The first government data on the impact of Omicron shows you are far less likely to end up in hospital. The preliminary research suggests that someone infected with Omicron rather than the Delta variant is between 50 and 70 percent less likely to be admitted to hospital. But intensive care units are dealing with unvaccinated patients. In a dozen hospitals in England, two thirds haven't had a COVID jab. It's very sad when people come into hospital who haven't been vaccinated. Uh, they're very unwell and they ask to have the vaccine then, which of course they can't because you have to get better from COVID before you can be vaccinated. The UK's Omicron surge continues. Almost 120,000 new COVID cases have been recorded in the past 24 hours. Also tonight. Household energy prices could rise by up to 50% by next spring, the warning from the energy sector amid calls for the government to step in. And the West End star having to self-isolate with COVID for a second Christmas in a row. We talk to people who are having to adapt their plans at the last minute. Coming up in Sports Day later in the hour on the BBC News Channel, more Boxing Day matches are off due to COVID, but should games go ahead at all with managers worried about players' welfare? Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. It is the first official government data on the impact of the Omicron variant. Almost a month after the first Omicron, ca Omicron cases were confirmed in the UK, preliminary research suggests that someone infected with Omicron variant rather than Delta is up to 45% less likely to attend A&E and up to 70% less likely to be admitted to hospital. But there is concern about how long the booster jab provides extra protection against Omicron. These early findings suggest the third dose begins to wane after 10 weeks, giving about 15 to 25% less protection. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, has been looking at the findings.